Michio Kaku just shattered expectations, claiming the interstellar object 3i Atlas may not be natural at all. Now James Webb's data backs him up with evidence so strange, it's rewriting what we thought we knew about comets. Is it a cosmic anomaly or something built? Let's break down the truth. Michio Kaku breaks the silence. 3C Atlas is not natural. On July 1st, 2025, something extraordinary entered our skies. But it wasn't the object itself that first captured headlines. It was the voice of Michio Kaku, one of the most respected theoretical physicists of our time, who stepped forward with a startling public warning. If this object gains energy as it nears the sun, it's not natural. We could be looking at artificial intelligence on a cosmic scale. His words, calm yet urgent, didn't just make news. They rattled the scientific community. For decades, Kaku had walked the line between advanced theoretical physics and public communication with precision. He's written best-selling books, lectured at the City College of New York, and has been a frequent face on science documentaries. But he had never made a claim like this, certainly not with this level of confidence, or at such an early stage in an object's detection. And yet there he was, speaking not with speculation, but with resolve. The object in question, soon designated 3I Atlas, was first spotted by a survey telescope in Chile, a project designed to scan the sky for incoming asteroids and potential threats. It didn't take long for astronomers to realize they weren't looking at something native to our solar system. Its hyperbolic trajectory confirmed that it was interstellar, only the third such object ever observed, following Oumuamua in 2017 and 2I Borisov in 2019, but 3I Atlas was different. Early data hinted at unusual light curves, strange energy fluctuations, and a non-standard composition. While the broader scientific community was still cautiously gathering facts, Kaku was already drawing connections between trajectory, energy anomalies, and behavioral cues. His suggestion was simple but profound. If the object began to emit more energy than it absorbed, or changed its speed or spin in ways unaccounted for by sunlight or gravity, then it might be engineered. He specifically pointed to its upcoming perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, set for October 29, 2025. This is a test, he said during a live interview. Nature doesn't lie, but sometimes it surprises us. If this comet behaves unnaturally, we'll know. Kaku's comments didn't just go viral, they sparked global interest. Within days, news anchors were quoting him. Think pieces filled science blogs, and creators began speculating about alien probes. Professional astronomers, many of whom usually avoid speculative discussions, found themselves fielding questions about the possibility of an artificial origin. Even more remarkable was how quickly the object itself became a priority target. Telescopes from Hubble, JWST, and dozens of ground-based observatories reoriented to track its movement. ESA confirmed it had already scheduled deep field imaging sessions. Observing time that typically takes months to reserve was being shuffled within hours. For many in the scientific field, Kaku had done something rare. He had forced a conversation people were afraid to have out loud. He didn't claim the object was alien. He didn't say it was a ship. But he did say we should be watching it not just as a cosmic rock, but as a potential messenger from another star system. And so began one of the most intense public scrutiny campaigns of any interstellar object in history. The world leaned in, the object approached, and Kaku's words hovered in the background, framing everything to come. The unexpected visitor, 3I Atlas, was first detected on July 1st, 2025, by the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile. Initially listed with little fanfare, it quickly drew attention when its orbital data came in. It was following a hyperbolic path, meaning it wasn't gravitationally bound to the Sun. This made it only the third interstellar object ever confirmed, after Oumuamua in 2017 and 2I Borisov in 2019. But unlike those earlier visitors, 3I Atlas was strange from the start. It didn't show a typical tail or coma, at least not at the distances where those features usually emerge. It brightened irregularly. Some images showed signs of outgassing while others did not. Its speed was also unusually high, another sign that this wasn't a native of our solar system. Scientists began referring to it as an anomalous interstellar object, not quite a comet, not quite an asteroid. It sat in a grey area between known types. 
More intriguingly, its projected course took it within 1.4 astronomical units of the Sun, close but not dangerously. This made it an ideal candidate for long-term observation from Earth and space telescopes alike. Only two interstellar objects had ever been seen before, and both had sparked global interest. But 3i Atlas was different. It seemed to be revealing more and hiding more than either of its predecessors. As the days passed and more data rolled in, it became clear this was not just another visitor. It might be something that forces us to rethink everything we thought we knew about interstellar travel, cosmic objects and maybe even intelligence itself. By late July 2025, astronomers were already puzzled. What they expected to be a relatively straightforward interstellar comet was refusing to follow the script. Thrady Atlas, instead of gradually becoming more active as it neared the Sun, began displaying outgassing activity unusually early, far beyond the orbit of Mars, where solar heating should have had minimal effect. Typically, comets begin to release gas and dust as sunlight warms their icy nuclei. But 3i Atlas was active at distances over four astronomical units, far beyond where most comets begin to stir. When spectrographs came in from the James Webb Space Telescope and ground-based observatories, they revealed something even more unusual. The object was emitting large quantities of CO2 and had an unexpectedly rich isotopic mix. Some of the heavier isotopes weren't typical of solar system bodies. Then came another surprise. Its brightness curve didn't fit standard models. Most comets brighten predictably as they approach the Sun, but 3i Atlas pulsed in its brightness like a strobe, flaring at times, then dimming unexpectedly. Its estimated diameter, based on reflected light, didn't match its expected brightness, suggesting either it was smaller than it looked or somehow brighter than it should be. To make things stranger, astronomers couldn't clearly identify a stable nucleus. Observations showed diffuse emissions, but no sharp central core, something typical of disintegrating comets. But 3i Atlas wasn't falling apart. It was stable, just weirdly so. It's like it's active, but it's not melting, one planetary scientist remarked. That doesn't happen with ordinary comets. The speculation grew. Could this object have a non-volatile core, something denser than ice? Or was it covered in a material that managed energy differently, perhaps artificially? More theories emerged. Was this an interstellar fragment of a destroyed planetary system? A rogue object with unique chemistry? Or a structured body designed to remain stable despite solar radiation? By August, the questions outnumbered the answers. Traditional comet theory couldn't account for the object's early activity. Non-random jets, erratic brightness and composition. As it continued its journey toward perihelion, astronomers worldwide recalibrated their models. This wasn't a question of new physics. It was a question of whether we were seeing intelligent design or just an outlier that nature had somehow created. If this were the first comet we'd ever seen, one astrophysicist noted, we'd have built our entire theory of comets differently.